So I'm sitting here. It's uh, Saturday, September the 8th. And I'm sitting here at the uh, Greenbrier Crossing, River Crossing. And uh, MVP is decimating this area. So you see another big tree come down. So, kind of a history of where we're at. So, uh, MVP wants to cross this historical area. It's been a sacred place for the Native Americans, and it was a uh, very historical uh, space. I believe, and I think I'm right, this is Governor Hatfield built a house here. Later, that was turned into part of that was turned into the Riverside Restaurant. It was operated for a couple of years, a few years here. Uh, this is the wetlands area. It's uh, recently it's been in the spiritual garden. This area is still under litigation. Mountain Valley Pipeline wants to cross through here. And uh, so a bunch of us have challenged, including Mr. Berkeley, who, Ashby Berkeley, who owns this property, challenged the state issuing of the 401 water permit uh, back at the, in 2017 when the last August when that was about to go to court they realized they were going to lose that suit so they asked the judge to waive to let them withdraw the 404 and dismiss the lawsuit and the judges at the fourth circuit said fine well after a, a few weeks pushing the DEP said well we're going to waive our right to do anything. So they kicked it over to the Army Corps of Engineers. The Army Corps of Engineers then issued the nationwide 12 permit in the 404. Uh, a group of us, including Mr. Berkeley, challenged that. Um, in uh, April, that was filed. We got a stay on construction through this area and a number of other areas, the wetlands and springs in the Southern District of West Virginia in June and for two months we had a stay. The court hearing is not until the 28th of September. Uh, there were some other other permits for the Forest Service and the BLM that got also got stayed for a temporary period of time at the 1st of August. Uh, fast forward, last week MVP says hey we got to stop work order, no use for the stay, ask the court to raise the Day. They did. Same day, FERC lifted the stop work order. So that happened last week. Uh, MVP acted pretty quickly in the last week. They got staged. They still didn't have permission to cut this area here. And uh, so uh, we noticed a, uh, a notice night before last a permission to continue to start con uh, constructing through this area. Mr. Berkeley came down yesterday uh, to no avail. Also had a Derek Teeny with Appalachian Mountain Advocates uh, filed for an emergency stay. It hasn't been denied. It hasn't been granted. Of course, have stayed quiet. Uh, if they wait till Monday to do it, the trees will be gone. They will be gone. They'll probably work today. I suspect they'll work Monday or Sunday. Uh, MVP is desperate. They know, well, they have a pretty good idea that they are, could possibly lose a court hearing, but the damage is done. That's the way they operate. They say when we got, were issued a five days to respond about whether to cut the trees in the National Forest, or not. They were given five days response, so they went into the forest and cut every tree in the forest, in the Jefferson National Forest in those five days. So their response was, don't worry about it, judges. The trees are down. Uh, that's the strategy here probably is to say, hey, you know, we don't care if you give us a stay or not. Uh, the trees are down. They've got timber mats here that they're uh, Going to go across this wetlands area here. 
this impending Florence with, with several fronts heading this way for most of the west and then later next week on the east we got several fronts heading toward us this whole area could be underwater so all these logs and stuff they don't have to worry about burning them uh, so sad greed corruption combination of all both they're going to decimate an area here that has been sacred to the region for 200 years and to the Native Americans for thousands of years. Um, I don't know what more to say. You can't live stream from this area because of the no internet service. I've got people watching me from everywhere. we got a guy up here. He's watching me. Like, he's watching me. He waved. I wave back, and uh, <clears throat> so uh, this is the devastation, greed, corruption of the MVP and government officials here at the Greenbrier River Crossing, and uh, that is the end of this video, and. Uh, Sad day here on this banks of the Greenbrier River.